Hello viewers, I'm finally back after some time. I managed to find the time to create another free energy system for you based on the patent from the Shapur Faridi. Uh, this image on my right side represents it. This is typical gravity wheel. And let's see now uh, how he imagines and what he thinks is necessary for gravity wheel to normally operate. So, without any further waiting, I present you Shapur Faridi Gravity Driven Power Generation System. Alright, you are. So, this is Shapur Faridi Gravity Driven uh, gen Power Generation System. Or I would say a typical gravity wheel but let's see how he designed the geometry and uh, these arms so that this is able to spin permanently and how he imagined this should work and what uh, components does he needs so that this can continue to spin yeah, and even produce some uh, over unity or actually um, yeah just continuous rotation which can be then transferred to the power generator on the backwards yeah and extract some free energy out of it but let's see so as you can see we have three arms yeah and now I design it on this circle how it's designed it in the patent there, there are some 30 degrees steps yeah 30 60 90 up to 330 30 on the top and you can see that these three arms are adjustable the top of the arm this yellow part is adjustable it can go in and out as you can see in this position 30 degrees is, is fully out yeah? and on this position 270 is fully in yeah? so basically you can now understand why this should be like this because yeah if, if we do not pull this out then the system would stop yeah definitely yeah and uh, if we put it in such a way uh, we can uh, the smaller force is needed uh, more to the center of circle to spin it then on with the, the force which is produced when this falls down yeah from 30 60 90 120 to 150 degrees yeah so this is the energy we want to uh, use and then of course we need to pull this yellow part inside yeah and for this it's used this small motor you can see it. this is small motor and this is some rod with thread which can uh, which allows that this go in and out yeah so this yellow yellow part on the uh, outside of the circle yeah and of course in this position you can see that at 360 or zero degrees it will be somewhere in the middle and then it goes up yeah for for pure start we need some outside energy that's for sure and then uh, in the 30 degrees it's fully out and then it travels up to the 150 degrees yeah and it, it creates some acceleration here yeah? with this uh, with this setup and at 150 degrees it starts to going in uh, and this uh, green line represents this yeah this green line represents how uh, the, the path on which this uh, yellow part will go inside to this point and it will uh, finish the point in 210 degrees so, so from 210 degrees to 330 degrees it would be closest to the circle so that it does not pull it back so the, the does not pull the wheel back and then from 330 degrees to 30 degrees would uh, again go up be pushed by this motor up yeah, up to the uh, end point here uh, so this red are weights of course uh, weight will help to uh, achieve acceleration in the falling uh, and then yeah and it would not stop it when it goes back up and of course this system should be uh, in a great scale yeah so the uh, this cannot be like on a4 paper i think this this is usable if we scale it to maybe this circle to be 20 meters and uh, then uh, some really some force is created here and maybe uh, less force is needed to pull this back uh, with some pre precise mechanism to pull this back uh, from 150 to 210 uh, uh, so that it can rise up uh, to 200, 330 and then climb back to 30 yeah? so I think this energy is less than the energy and this is actually the on, only logical idea of this patent that this could work Alright, so this is the gravity wheel. Now it really visually represents how this, uh, uh, let's say, this weight uh, should be distributed on the circle, uh, this yellow part with the weight on the top, 
to achieve the, the, the this rotation uh, and that does not stop in the end so thank you for watching user until next video stay tuned on my channel bye bye